Tonight, we're learning new details about the unexpected death of a Fond du Lac County Republican. Senator Rick Gudex was just 48 years old and had announced he did not plan to run for re-election this year. NBC 26's Raquel Amell is live in Fond du Lac with the latest on this case. Raquel? Well, Megan, here at the Fond du Lac County Sheriff's Department, they tell us that State Senator died of a self-inflicted gunshot wound to the chest. Now, it was a family member who made that call to Fond du Lac Police Department last night, concerned for the Senator's welfare. Now, officers began searching, and later they called in the Fond du Lac County Sheriff's Department, and when they found, that's when they found Gudex's body in a wooded area on private land near the town of Eden. Sheriff deputies say they discovered the body around 1.30 this morning. Morning. Condolences go to the family. You know, we, we need to remember that there's he's not just a political figure in Wisconsin. He's he's a father. He's a son. He's a brother. He's a husband. Um, you know, so there's family grieving. He's not just known locally with uh, local officials uh, from living in Fond du Lac, but he's known regionally as the Senate District 18 that he served. Goodex is survived by his wife and two children. The state senator announced that he would not seek re-election after his first term in office in November. Now, the medical examiner says that it'll take a few weeks yet before they get the toxicology results back. But right now, investigators are speaking with the family to try to figure out what led up to this tragedy. Reporting live in Fond du Lac, keeping you connected, Raquel Amell, NBC26. Thank you, Raquel. State lawmakers on both sides of the aisle are reacting to the news of Senator Gudex, including Governor Scott Walker, who said, quote, Tonette and I are deeply saddened to learn of the passing of Senator Rick Gudex. Rick was a good man who served his community and state well. He will be missed, unquote.